Hi boys and girls, welcome to Sunday School. Today we're just gonna be doing an Easter craft. So I'm just gonna show you what it is and then you can have fun making it at home. So what you're going to be making is you're going to be making a wreath about the Easter story. So you have got a few things in your package. You've got a piece of paper like this that actually has some circles traced on it. And you have an example like this in your package that actually gives you all the information in the order that it goes. And then you have the pieces that you need to use to glue that on color. So there's two sheets here with the pictures. Okay, and also I put in there a little kind of Easter story as well to go through with pictures to help remind us of what the Easter story is. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna cut out your wreath. So on here I've got a bigger circle and a little circle. So you kinda wanna cut it out so it looks like this. This is your wreath here. Then what you're going to do is you are going to, now you can cut these out however you want. These are the words. So, and it kind of goes in order and it's also on here the exact order in which it goes in. So you can cut them in an oval, you can cut them in a square, you can kind of lightly color the background, however you want. And also these are the pictures that go with it. So let's do the first one together. Jesus enters Jerusalem. So that is gonna be this one up here. And on it says here is the palm branch and the donkey. So I'm gonna look through my pictures and find the palm branch and the donkey. And that's gonna go together on your wreath. So you're gonna kind of start off to the side a little bit and glue that on. So you'll put the words and then the picture, just like it shows in here, the words and then the pictures right there. Then that's the next set of words, which is going to be, hold on a second. It says the Last Supper. So then you're gonna look here and it tells you about the Last Supper and then it tells you that it's the bread and the wine picture. So you're gonna look here and it's the next two. It's the bread and the wine. So you put your words next on here underneath and then your bread and your wine. And then it's an easy way to help you remember the Easter story. I hope you have fun doing this and we'll see you again in not in two weeks. Next week is Easter Sunday, so we're not gonna have a Sunday school lesson then, so the next one will be after that in April. Okay, have a great week, bye.